tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture. Well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. Well, the Estadio Alejandro Villanueva is definitely a venue with an old-school feel. It holds about 33,000. And as you can see, we've already started here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a big chance! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Up for a throw. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Bosnia are playing very deep here. They seem happy to let their opponents have the ball. They're not bothered. Gets into a dangerous position. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. And here's Dzeko. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Forward it goes. Finds himself eased off the ball. Kolashinats plays it forward. It's got through. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. And a real chance to break. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Pinged forward. Kolashina. And the first half is done. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means the first half compared with your expectation unspectacular but solid and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to to go on and win no goals at this stage but certainly not devoid of action it is nil nil here at half time here we go again nil nil then and we're back on the way And it's been taken straight back. Bicacic. Besic. Alfred von Bogerson really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Breaks on here. Plays it out to the flank. In again. Goalkeeper's ball. Besic tries to strip. He's had a shot. It's in. What about that, Jim Beglin? That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good.
There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Bosnia and Herzegovina break the deadlock. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Bosnia are more than happy to defend deep now. They've decided that it's not worth taking any more risks. It's a very different story for their opponents, though, who just have to throw everything at it and hope for the best. The changes then in quick succession. Hoist sit forward. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Pjanic, has he found his man? Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busy. Well, that's where he wants it. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Kolasinac. And the referee brings it to a close. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that.